Good morning. Uh, it is May 21st, 2021, which is a Friday, and I am excited to be bringing the third of our three 30-minute uh, demonstrations from our vendor partner, EBSCO. Uh, today, um, I am joined by Jimmy King, who is the Director of Sales for Learning Express uh, at EBSCO. He's been at EBSCO for 12 years, and he's coming to us from Austin, Texas. So without any further ado, I am going to turn things over to Jimmy. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, which I think will empower you to share yours and, uh, great. and we'll get going. Awesome, I appreciate that. And if somebody can, it looks like there's some chat there. Somebody needs to monitor the chat. And if anybody has any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to interrupt and ask those questions. I'm gonna share my screen. I've got a small PowerPoint that I'm gonna go over and then we're gonna jump into live product. Again, I'm Jimmy King, the Director of Sales of Learning Express and you guys may know Jay Hess and Dan Herrick. They're your local representatives that work with you guys. And, uh, and obviously if you have any questions, you can reach out to them or you can reach out to me directly. Uh, and so I know that through the state of Wisconsin that you guys have access to what we call Learning Express Library. Uh, and what I'm going to talk about today is, is we have a couple of other products called Prep Step for community colleges and Prep Step for uh, four year or universities. And then we also have a combined, uh, what we call Prep Step Academic, which is the two year and four year combined. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between what you have from the state and what if you were to upgrade and the reason you would want to do that, kind of considering that. And obviously, because there is a, quite a bit of overlap. Uh, we would work with you on that. And I'm going to stop sharing my video. It helps my presentation a little bit if I don't have my video going. So uh, I'm going to jump right into it. So what you guys have today, and I'm assuming you guys can see this on the screen, is you have Learning Express Library. And it's organized by learning centers. And I hope you're familiar with this. Uh, but you can see the different centers there. There are uh, two centers that will not be in the prep step products, and I've highlighted those in yellow, the adult core skills and the school center. Uh, so the advantages of going to prep step is the content and the platform has been curated and designed specifically for college students. The Learning Express Library is, is more of our public library platform, and it serves all audiences. Uh, including college students, but it also uh, serves adults in various stages in life, and it also serves our high school and middle school and in some ways elementary school students. So uh, in the prep step products, you will not have the adult core, adult core skills and you will not have the school center. The school center has core academic content and information down to as low as third and fourth grade. Uh, also want you to notice that I've highlighted the college student center. Uh, so you have content that's specifically designed for college students in Learning Express Library, but not as much. We've added significantly more content. And so you only have the one center in Learning Express Library that you can click on and access content for the college students. And I'll talk a little bit about the difference. Uh, as we jump over here to the prep step for colleges, uh, this is gonna be the four-year university. And so what I've highlighted in green are the centers that are gonna be new, that you're gonna get additional content. Uh, and I want to point out right at the very top, the college success skills. Um, and so this is a wonderful resource. It's kind of more of a soft skills center. Uh, this is designed to help uh, students be successful in college. Uh, I've had colleges, universities, and community colleges use this in their first year student success programs as freshmen come in. Because it has information in there in the categories under organizational strategies that have multitasking and getting organized and managing your time and those type of things. It also has a category called classroom success skills. And those have, you know, things like memorization tips, uh, uh, classroom listening strategies, and, and how to take good notes in classes. And then there's another category called information literacy and research. Uh, and this is going to have a couple tutorials in it called finding and citing uh, sources. It really gets into the different kinds of citations, whether it be online, books, magazines, and all the different ways. Uh, but then it also has uh, uh, content on like avoiding plagiarism, uh, which is important. So it also has a category called getting academic support, uh, 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 tutorials and information on how to communicate with your professor uh, and using the campus resources. 
And then it also has a category on it called personal success skills. This is going to get into things like developing healthy habits, managing your debt, basics of money management, and then things like taxes and insurance and different things like that that are important concepts that students need to understand. So it's, we've got really good content in there that can help particularly incoming freshmen. And then we've broken out what we call the core academic, where in the Learning Express Library you have one center and then you can see the core academic content, but we've added significantly more uh, to the prep step products. So the core math and science skills really, really gets in depth and it's got tutorials, practice sets, flashcards, uh, uh, eBooks, uh, and a lot of different content there. And then you also get within the prep step platform, you get the basic computer skills. And these are all video tutorials done by Microsoft certified trainers uh, that get into what is a computer and how to use it, different aspects of that. But then it gets into to how to use Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and different uh, software, things like that. Uh, they're all, again, video tutorials, which are really important for a student to understand maybe how to format their Word document as they write papers. So really good information there. Uh, the, the placement test preparation, the career preparation, and then the Spanish Center at the bottom there are all going to be the same type of content that you're going to in Learn Express Library, but I, I did highlight the grad school admission test preparation. So you have this information in Learn Express Library, but you but it is broke out as a separate center here. But you're not going to have that into the the what we call the prep step for community colleges. As I've changed screens here and jump over to that. So the core math science skills, the core English skills is the same. Uh, you still got the, the same college success skills. You still have the basic computer skills we talked about, but you're not going to have the grad school test prep content in here. And again, as a community college student, you're not going to grad school. You don't need that information right now. Uh, but we did add the, uh, the ACT, SAT preparation information and the high school equivalency center. Uh, so the ACT and SAT, you know, you may be working with students, maybe as a community college and high school students that, that need to improve their scores uh, uh, for various reasons. But I did want to point out there is no grad school test prep within this particular seat. Uh, so, uh, so there is another add-on center and you can add it on to Learn Express Library, but you can also add it on to Prep Step. And I just want to mention it because particularly what's going on in the world today with, with people hurt by the economic crisis and, and your students need jobs, but uh, we have a product called Job and Career Accelerator. And this is more of a tool oriented. It's not necessarily test prep. So it's got things like a resume builder and a cover letter builder that are that really automatically format a resume and walks them through the process to doing that. Uh, it has a college finder. We do have job search engines. We've got Indeed and, and, uh, and USA job searches right within the platform. Uh, and then we also have a lot of career explorations. And we do have, if you look under the explore, an interest in a skills matcher that students will go in and take these two different assessments as they, they're asked questions in those areas. And based on how they answer that question, it will recommend different jobs and careers, which can help them uh, pick a college major, uh, particularly in a community college, if you're trying to, if you're trying to support the guided pathways initiative, uh, where people with their encouraging students or, or making students pick a meta major, uh, how do students even know what to do that? So the career exploration can help them decide what they want to do. So, why would you want to upgrade from Learning Express Library to Prep Step? So, you know, I've got a few reasons here. So the the content or the, the the interface is curated and the content is curated specifically for college students. And you do get significantly more content for your students, particularly the core academic and those college success skills. But another important aspect is the LMS integration with Canvas, Blackboard, and Brightspace. So the Learn Express Library cannot integrate with your LMS, but if you're interested in, in integrating into your LMS and you and you use one of these three, which I believe are the probably the the three major ones in the academic space, uh, then then we can do that. We'll talk a little bit about what that looks like, and then you do get the basic computer content. So let me uh, if you have any questions, please don't inter don't hesitate to interrupt. But I'm gonna jump over to my live platform. So this is, so, so we do have the prep step for community colleges and prep step for four years. And then we have the prep step combined, which is what we call prep step academic. And that's what we're looking at here. Uh, but before I actually look at that, I wanna share a success story. And we have a link to this that, that we'll make available to you if you wanna read the whole success story. But this is a community college 
uh, Tallahassee Community College. And I'm gonna scroll down here to where it says LMS integration. So they were looking at updating their English language online lab. And they were looking at in that they were, you know, a lot of different modules that they were looking at. And they're actually through the LMS integration through the LTI, they're using the content out of prep step for their curriculum. Some of the content, they've got curriculum and content from other places, but they really like the content they got in the English language art area of our platform. And they're integrating that into their core structure. And then through the LMS, they can assign resources straight to students through a whole class or individual students. Uh, the student then would sign into their into the LMS. They'd see that assignment. They would click on it. They would complete that assessment, that tutorial, whatever it is that was assigned. And then the professor would get a report back straight into the grade book, their score and how well they did on that particular assessment. Uh, and so th they're using it very effectively. And then they're also using it for guided pathways in, in this important initiative that they're using it for down there as well. So I wanted to share that uh, with you guys real quickly. And then let me uh, kind of just move this down. Uh, so uh, so wanted to just real quickly jump into some of the content that's, that's kind of unique in the platform that you're gonna get in prep step. And like I mentioned, the organizational strategies, classroom success, information literacy, uh, and again, these are tutorials. We do have eBooks. Uh, open this up. Uh, we have flashcards throughout the platform. I'm not going to jump into how to take a test or how to take a tutorial. I'm hoping you're familiar uh, with with how the platform works from having it under Learning Express Library. If you need some training on it, I'd be happy to do that. But you can see we've got really wonderful uh, tutorials that walk them through the whole the whole content, all the information there in these particular areas. Uh, and then you get down to, you know, getting academic support, personal success skills. This is where the uh, uh, understanding the basics of money management, de developing healthy habits and a lot of good information here. And again, really good content for the first year success student. Uh, and then if we jump over into what we call the core academic content, core math and science skills, a lot more, significantly more content here than what you can get Learning Express Library. And again, it's going to have tutorials. So uh, I've seen uh, colleges use this in their tutoring departments uh, to supplement what tutors are doing with students. They can assign them and ask them to go in and, and, and do some of these resources, whether it be a tutorial. We got tons of practice sets. I believe that we under basic algebra, we have 28 separate practice sets or excuse me, 23. Uh, that you can assign, uh, I believe it's the calculus area that we've got 28, flashcards, ebooks, you know, a lot of really good information. Um, so also as I'm, as I'm talking about this, one of the things I do wanna share is um, to help, like I mentioned, maybe in the tutoring department, the core math and science skills and core English skills may be important to a tutoring department. Uh, we can take direct links to every one of these centers and create what I would, kind of consider little mini products out of them. So for the tutoring department, we can put links straight on their webpage or LibGuys or different places, core math and science skills and English skills. Uh, if you do have a first year success program, they can take the link for this and put that within their curriculum or their program uh, and, and just have that content in there. Uh, but then as we open up, and as you notice, this seems to be a real popular one. If you have a nursing program, we've got wonderful NCLEX test prep, uh, and for teaching, we got all the practice information. So we got really good content here for, for all the different uh, occupational test prep. And so one of the things that you can do is you can take the direct links to these, what we call subcategories, and you can put them in LibGuides in different places that'll make it easier for your students to find that information. And you can do that with Learn Express Library or if you can do that with PrepStep, but I just wanna share real quickly, here's a perfect, perfect example. So this is a BYU Idaho, they're a customer of ours. This is a, I believe a LibGuide. And if we click on, they've got a category called Praxis and we've got direct links straight to the Praxis information that will link straight to that. Uh, this is another customer of ours, uh, Roseman University Health Science Center. They have a guide. And again, you click on the NCLEX and they've got direct links that goes, that takes you straight to the exam preparation from prep step for the NCLEX exam. Just makes it easier for your students to find that information that's important for them. 
And I wanted to point that out. If, if you would like to use direct links in your platform or your lib guides and, and different places that your student go uh, to make it easier for them to access the information, uh, definitely kind of reach out to us and let us know and we'd be happy to work with you. So as you look at this platform, be thinking about that and, and we can sure help you get those direct links to that particular content. Um, so I mentioned the, the computer skills. So understanding, getting started with the computer. If you look at the popular software tools, uh, again, these are all Microsoft certified content and they're all videos. So uh, you can see Excel, Office, uh, Outlook, Word. And then we do have uh, uh, the Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop as well. But uh, if we click on the most current version of Excel, just real quickly, I'll show you what this content looks like. And so you can see we've got uh, about an hour and a half of instruction of basic and then uh, uh, at a little higher level, we've got another hour and 30 minutes. If we were to launch this, you'll kind of see that it is 508 compliant, it's closed captioned, it does have, uh, uh, we'll open up this table of contents here so you can see that the content's broken out into smaller segments. So you don't have to sit and listen to an hour and a half, you'll just pick the, the, the area that you're trying to learn to improve on. And you can see we, we have it all transcribed here as well as, uh, as, as well as it being closed captioned. Uh, so let's come back home real quick. Uh, so let's see here. So, uh, and then we do have the Spanish Center and this is gonna have, and you've got this in Learning Express Library, this is gonna have your core academic content in reading and writing, math, and that type of information, then how to pass the GED in Spanish, but then it's also gonna have how to become a US citizen in Spanish as well. Uh, so in a nutshell, that's kind of the, the benefits and the key of if you upgrade to prep step, you're gonna get more content, you're gonna be able to integrate with your LMS, uh, and it's gonna be targeted, it's almost about what's not here. Uh, sometimes if the students come here and they see stuff that's designed for high school students or goes down to elementary school, uh, it can maybe be a turnoff for them. So, but everything they're going to see on the platform is going to be particularly designated for them. I also want to mention that all the different eBooks on the platform, I've downloaded a couple of eBooks. This one is Express, Express Review Guides for Algebra 1. It's 166 pages. And here's one preparing for the NCLEX RN exam. It's 522 pages. Uh, there is no digital rights management for this content and that means that every one of your students in the state of Wisconsin could all download this ebook and use it at the same time. Basically, once they download it, they'll have access to this ebook until they choose to delete the particular ebook. Um, uh, and I believe in prep step there's I'm not sure exactly but probably about 150 or so different ebooks uh, in the platform everything from career exploration to helping you pass the occupational exams. Uh, to different information like that. Uh, so we've got a little bit of time. If you'd like me to jump in on how to take a test and how to take a tutorial and those type of things, I'd be happy to do that or answer any questions that you might have. Jimmy, we, we've had two, uh, well, one person uh, asked two questions here in the uh, Q&A module. Mm -hmm. uh, Amy asks, one, what resources does prep step have for the PAX exam that aren't in the Learning Express library? Okay. And two, can you please demo one of the information literacy tutorials? Yes, absolutely, I can do that. So when you're talking about the, the career preparation center that's gonna have all the occupational tests where the PA information is, uh, it's gonna be the same content that's gonna be in Learning Express library. So there is no difference between that content learn space library and the content you're going to get in prep step. Uh, I believe that that question was about the occupational test. I believe you said it was a PA. Um, uh, Sorry, it says PAX. I, I'm actually not sure what that is. Maybe Amy, uh, feel free to, to chime in if there's. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. But I believe it. So the all the, all the occupational tests, if it is, an, which I believe it is an occupational test, all the content is going to be the same in Learning Express Library as, as it is in Prep Step, so you're not going to get any new content. Okay, uh, she says uh, it's a nursing entrance exam. Yes. Okay. And not PA. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. So uh, yes, we have we have content, but it's going to be the same. So whatever content we have is going to be the same. 
uh, yeah, the PAX practice test, you can see that there. I believe that's what you're talking about. So we have content there. Let me open this up real quickly, uh, but it'll be the same in Learn Express Library. So it looks like we have, you know, a couple uh, science and a mathematic test. We have two full tests in each area. Uh, now let me jump into the one of the uh, the second part. Let me jump into the college success skills, and let's open up let's open up information literacy, and we'll jump into the how to find and cite sources and show you what those look like. Now, typically, if it's a tutorial like in math, it's going to start off with a pretest, and it's going to benchmark where your current abilities are at. So it's going to ask you questions on math. And you may not do very well. Uh, you know, a lot of these these uh, soft skills, the formats are the same way, but they don't start off with the pretest necessarily. Because, uh, but let me show you how these work and show you the information in them. So you can see this one only. You know, you can read a little bit about the particular tutorial. But if we open up the unit, and you have four different lessons, what, what sources should I use? And we open that up, you, you can kind of see uh, what sources should I use, uh, uh, selecting effective, uh, effective sources, comparing sources for, uh, for maximum impact. Uh, lesson two, strategies for online courses, uh, keyword search, different information there. So finding, finding sources, uh, select credible sources, And then here's where we're going to get into the citing correctly, all the different uh, uh, basics of APA, MLA, citing books, uh, different information like that. So style guides. So if we just kind of click on that and then you would just go through it. So it's going to talk about it, challenge yourself. So th there's going to be practice questions. So as you read about the style guides, then you're going to have some practice. So you just answer what you think is ability and then you're going to check your answer and it's going to give you all the stuff that's correct. And then at the end of each lesson, there's usually a, a little quiz to make sure that you've understood it. So then you just go to the, you just go to the next, oops, excuse me. You go to the next page and you just keep going through it. I think I actually hit the back button. So the basis of APA style. And so it just is gonna walk you through how you're gonna do that citation and understand them. So. Um, would you like to look at another one or is, does that kind of answer your question and help you there? So everybody does have access to what we call my center. So everything the student's working on is going to be saved in their personal, I call it a personal portfolio of everything they've working on. So I'm going to save this and this is now going to jump it into what we call my center. And that's where everything that they've been working on is going to be curated. So, uh, Are there any other questions while well, maybe I open up uh, open up a personal success skills? Jimmy, we haven't had any other questions, although uh, Amy uh, did chime back in to say thank you for- uh, Okay, perfect. Yeah, you know, I think it's important for students to understand stuff like the basics of money, uh, well, even tax insurance, but this tutorial I think is a really good one, basics of money management. Uh, just understanding these concepts, a lot of students may not have been taught this at home. Uh, you can kind of get in these particular units. Uh, key steps in financial planning, elements that affect financial planning, really, really good information if we open, open some of these up. Uh, building wealth, you know, just really good information about the basis of money management. And then the taxes and insurance, you know, do you, you know, why do you need insurance, life insurance, difference between whole and term, a lot of the different concepts there, uh, just kind of some really good information. So um, at this point, if there's not any additional questions, you know, we maybe we'll finish a little bit early and then the, uh, but, but happy to, even after the recording is over, if, if you would like to stay on, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. This will be saved to my center. Uh, and I'll, I'll just open my center up real quickly and just show you. Uh, so students do need to create accounts to access the content. They just need an email address and simple password. We take privacy very seriously. Those email addresses are never used for anything except to reset their password if they forget their password. Uh, the, the, you know, we don't use the emails. We don't store the emails anywhere you know, on EBSCO or anything like that. They're, they're, they're in a very secure location. But if we look at my center, uh, this is where everything that, that 
a student's been working on is going to be curated. So any eBooks that they've downloaded, any tests they've started, some of the tests are rather long and they can save them and they can come back and start off right where they left off by coming here and just clicking on it. Uh, you can see all the information that, that's been curated. So, and if you like a trial of prep step or our job and career accelerator, I really didn't talk that much about job and career accelerator. Uh, but, you know, it's got a resume building tool, cover letter building tool. And like I mentioned, the uh, find a career match, two different assessments. They can really explore different occupations and jobs. We've got over 1200 occupational cards that have videos in them. And it, again, I really think this information really supports the guided pathways. The students need to pick a meta major, but maybe they don't have a clue on what's even possible that they would like to do for a career. So really good career exploration to help them uh, pick that particular career. So just wanted to mention that again briefly, so. All right, yeah, we haven't had any other questions come in yet, Jimmy. Um, okay. I, I agree with you that there is a lot of really great stuff here that um, I think will be really valuable at uh, any of uh, our uh, higher ed institutions here in Wisconsin, two year, four year. Uh, I, could, I could see applications in all of those places. Wonderful. So I, I, I'm, I'm uh, hopeful that uh, we will get uh, some additional questions uh, after the session. And um, I'll remind everyone uh, watching live or watching the recording to feel free to reach out to me, feel free to reach out to Jay Hess or Dan Herrick. These are our, our folks you know uh, to learn more, to get uh, trial information, to get pricing information. That'd be great. I appreciate it, Jeff. Thanks again for the opportunity. It's our pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us, uh, Jimmy. Um, and uh, to those um, watching the session uh, in uh, live. I hope you have a really great weekend. Uh, for those of you watching the recording, uh, I have no way of knowing if you're watching it on a Friday. Uh, if you're not, exactly. and I'm sorry for you that it's not Friday. Because it is um, exactly. Uh, I've made that joke three times now, and I've gotten a chuckle every time. So yeah. I, I should be easy, right? <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I liked it. All right. Well, thanks again, Jimmy. I hope you have a good weekend. And yeah, um, absolutely. Oh, I see. I'm just going to open the chat bubble one more time. Oh, yeah, we're getting thanks uh, and happy Fridays uh, from attendees as well. So uh, thanks again and take care, Jimmy. And um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Yep. Thank you.